another day, another module from AliExpress. And this module, it costs around 4 US dollars. And take a look. What do you think? What is it? It's a 2024 pin ATX power adapter board power module adapter with adjustable voltage with red digital display and support PH PD 2.0 or PD 3.0. Oh, it's a, it have a voltmeter. It have a USB with PD voltages. Here I, I can see a multi-turn potentiometer for adjusting a voltage, main power switch. Okay, I like it, I order it, and I got it. I see bubbles! Finally! Ooh. Oh. Let's do this. some transparent what is this it's transparent piece oh so you can attach it like this to protect the the points from short nice ah dun 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 the 360 solar turntable and let's see the specifications. What it says? It says that the, this USB output is quick charge that support 2.0 and 3.0 protocols and charge turbo 27 watts. All right, I need to assemble this metal with the transparent piece. What is in the package? Output current 2 amperes. Why it says that? Output voltage 5, 9, 12. Output voltage DC 5 volt maximum. Terminal output voltage positive 12 volts, negative 12 volts, positive 5 and 5 and ground and 3.3 .3 volts. Also can be used as input voltage DC 12 to 24 volts. The motherboard can output 12 volts voltage when paired with DC mother socket. Oh, let me show you something. So, here we have the main power on off for the board and for activating the ATX power supply. Also, we have a connector where we can uh, hook up an uh, external uh, switch. The main LED voltmeter. From this side, we have three USB outlets. Also, one more on this side and Type C connector. On this connectors we have voltage adju adjust that means that this connector or output can be controlled through the multi-term potentiometer for adjusting your desired voltage between 0 and 12 volts I think and also we have a DC jack in the middle where it says input output oh we're gonna and what kind of integrated circuit is this? It's very popular LM2596 voltage regulator. Yes, that will work. Time for testing now. Oh, oh I forgot. First, I need to assemble it. And why there is a magnet? Oh, so you can attach this thing on the ATX power box. Oh, I'm gonna check that too. Let's peel it off this first. I was wrong. The transparent piece is not for the bottom, it's for the top. Take a look. Oh, okay. First I need to add this. Come on, man. 
by the way these are magnet so you can attach on the power supply beautiful okay Take a look, it turned out pretty cool, magnets, alright, also there is a hole right here for adjusting the multi turn potentiometer and for the main power switch, nice. This is my testing power supply, it's an old unit, I need to, to get a better one or new one. And take a look what I'm telling you about the magnet. And it's nice. And it's strong. But how clever is to place this thing on the power supply? I don't know. Please comment below and tell me what you think. I'm gonna attach it right now. Is it this way or this way? I don't know. Oh, it's the opposite way. This way? Nope. Like this. Okay. First, I'm gonna plug in the power supply unit. And yes, we have a green light, meaning that it's powering. Three, two, one. Couple of colors, red, green, blue. Nice. That is this way. Sorry. The first thing that I will do, I will check the voltages on this board. And let's let's see for the 12 volts. And yes, we have 12.2 volts. And where it says voltage adjust. We have 2.2 volts. That means that this thing can be adjusted. All right. The next is negative 12 volts. My power supply is given 11.5. Is it okay or not? I don't know. The next is 5 volts, 5.2. This is ground, 3.3 volts, and 5 volts again. Oh, I need to try this adjusted voltage. I attach the probes from the multimeter to the connectors or output voltage where it says ground and adjust and on the potentiometer I'm gonna make some rotations and take a look I can adjust the voltage. Beautiful. And this thing can give Two amperes because the integrated voltage regulator LM2596 is capable of giving two amperes and the maximum will be 12 I think yes okay that is a nice future turning off turning on beautiful Using my electronic load, this one is 35 watts. I'm gonna test the USB outputs. Plug in, and yes, we have 5.1 volt reading on the LCD screen. Can you see it? Yes, it's set on 2 amperes, power on, and the voltage dropped to 4.8 volts on the LCD display. I'm gonna increase the voltage to I'm gonna increase the current to 2.6 amperes and the voltage drop to 4.7 but I think that this electronic load it's not showing the real voltage I'm gonna measure right here and what it says 4.9 volts little bit more 
take a look we are pulling 3 amperes and the real voltage is 4.9 volts on the electronic load it shows 4.7 volts oh that is fine beautiful okay power off so sorry for the noise that you are listening it's from from my fan it's not quality I'm gonna test the PD charger plug in to my USB meter to my phone and what it says fast charging all right two amperes working but also I will try with my PD trigger to trigger the 5 9 and 12 volts by the way this one dollar from aliexpress module is great and all the links will be in description below for all products for the power supply unit atx board for the pd trigger for the multimeter you can check in link below this video by the way this is nearsy three in one digital multimeter gen signal generator and oscilloscope and on the probes i have attached my pd trigger and now i will plug in the type c cable and yes we have nine volts and using these switches you can adjust your output voltage so beautiful board and i love the leds and the voltmeter power off removing the connector and now i will try the dc input output power jack let's do that and one great thing about this module uh, is that it have a dc input voltage and you can use your power adapter from laptop that give 19 volts plug in and take a look on the voltmeter shows 19.2 volts but now the voltages here the 12 the 3.3 the 5 volts are not working only the usb outputs the type c connector and voltage ad adjust output yes first i'm gonna try to charge my phone yes fast charging okay hooking up the probes from my multimeter I turn it off and let's see yes the voltage adjustable output is working fine and you can adjust the voltage with the multi-turn potentiometer and take a look maximum is 18.9 volts beautiful 2 amperes maximum this is a great function that you can use uh, external power supply or power uh, adapter from laptop that giving 19 volts and when you are using an uh, external power adapter with a DC jack the power switch is not working I only wanted to share that with you all right it's a beautiful module and I love it it have a lot of functions so that was all for today video review please give a like share and subscribe to my channel see ya